Hi guys, this is Faithful with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to do a quick DIY for you. Now this DIY is a Dollar Tree Valentine's Day. This project is gems from Walmart, which is $2.98. You'll need a floral arrangement, which is very simple. It's basically two bunches of roses that are tightly uh, squeezed together to create a circle. I've shared that with you guys before on a uh, centerpiece I did before, but I went ahead and hauled this from Michaels and it was $6. Actually, I should say it was $12.99 and I used a 50% coupon, which made it $6. You will need two cylinders from the Dollar Tree and they only had these pink colors. We're going to spray paint them. You'll need a pick. I chose this pick, it came from Walmart, which was 98 cents. Scissors, wire cutter, and I believe I may create a uh, bow, not sure yet. You'll need your glue gun and your glue sticks. I think I would like to add glitter to this. I'm still debating. After I paint, I will come back and decide. But if I do, I'm going to use the red and the silver. I'm gonna go ahead, take this outside and spray paint it. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome, and I hope that you will like this DIY and decide to become a part of our family. So now that my base is on, one of the keys is to also make sure your lines are lined up. Go ahead and spray paint this so there isn't a line there. See, it's divided. So now that it's sprayed, I think I'm gonna put another okay, so coat. so while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and create a quick, easy, simple uh, bow that we can incorporate into our arrangement. So basically I took a dollar heart ribbon and I cut it to the length that I wanted, add some glue to the bottom to create a circle. Just like that. Once you've got as many you want, it's up to you. I created some two medium size and three larger size and one small size. So I want to take my large put a dab of glue on the inside and basically create a half just like that going to do that with all of them and then I'll put them together.
that this I'm believing it's dried and our bow is finished we're gonna go ahead and add the medium size gems to your cylinder this is very easy because all you're doing is following the design that is already existing on this vase. Make sure you outline it correctly. Just like that. So I'm going to follow that all the way around and I'll be back to show you what the complete thing looked like. Okay guys, so I went ahead and add some of the stones onto the top, also on the bottom. Let's see. What do now is go ahead and trim my flowers. It is way too long for this vase. So I need to trim it down. So this is when you're gonna need your wire cutter. You just go ahead and clip it all the way until it's to my little pick. It says love. I want to add this little bow we just created. So I'm gonna add a generous amount of glue right in the center. And then I want to add it right next to the heart. So it will look just like that. Just hold it until it's dried. Now with this, it has a little pick there. And I'm thinking I would like to have Let's see, target a front, and then I think I want to have it onto the side. So just go ahead and place your pick on the inside of your roses. And once that's in, you can, if you'd like, put a foam in for stability, or you can, if you want it temporarily, just place it in there, because I think it will look just perfectly fine the way it is. And I think I really love the way that that looks. I'm going to place it on a table and let you get a full view of it. Thank you guys so much for your time and your support. If you're not a subscriber, I hope that you will consider becoming a subscriber or just hit the subscribe button and become a part of our family. Thank you guys again, and I will see you on my next DIY.